welcome and thank you for checking out my youtube channel let's get into what i have for you today so you want to first of all go to um cloud.ai c l a u d dot a i this is much better in coding than uh, chat gpt so let's use um cloud ai to to work on this uh, plugin so the first thing is to um i hope my mic is working yeah it is so the first thing to do is to sign up and then when you sign up you arrive at this uh, screen so let's check our one million dollar uh, formula prompt which contains the what the who the why the which and the how and you'll see that in this prompt carefully uh, carefully stated so we said please show me the different uh, concise steps as an experienced programmer with accurate knowledge of JavaScript that's the who uh, JavaScript CSS HTML blah 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 to code a pop-up plugin for WordPress WooCommerce website. That's that's um, that's what. And then uh, we want to we want to display a thank you message after uh, someone shops on our website. We want to display the message: "Thank you for shopping with us. You are the best." And then uh, this pop-up will display at the thank you page, which is the order received the page when the person makes payment. Then we said timer on the pop-up should be set to zero seconds. This pop-up size will be the width of 300 pixel and height of 150 pixel. Uh, just the step alone without writing any line of code because I'm a beginner and I need to understand these steps before coding. Now you can see how we captured all the what, the who, the why, and the how in our prompt. So you want to copy this prompt like so. Now just comment prompt. I'll send it to you. It's not a problem. You want to paste the prompt and then you want to press the enter key. Now Claude will do its job by writing the code for us, uh, by writing the steps. I mean, so let's wait for that to cook. Contemplating, standby. And so there are the steps. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He says, would you like me to elaborate on any of these steps? I think we're okay with these steps so far, which is number one is to create a, a plugin folder in your WordPress installation, WP content plugin, and uh, create the main uh, plugin file with appropriate plugin header comments, uh, and queue necessary JavaScript and CSS file in WordPress, create a JavaScript file to handle the pop-up functionality and uh, yeah create the pop-up element set the pop-up content size and styling and so on and then having had this step which is like a guide the next thing we want to do is to now put the follow-up now that we're okay with this step now the reason for asking cloud ai to give us the step is so that we can understand how this thing works so not just that we are asking cloud to just do everything for us without us understanding how uh, these things work or how it came to be. Now, the next thing we want to do is to paste the follow-up code, which is based on the step you have given us now, carefully write the code for the steps above such that it will, it will uh, be void. It will be void of fatal error at installation or it will be void of error at installation whichever uh, ai has that tendency to also correct uh, to also correct whenever there is a typo you know it's quite smart okay so let's send that and let's see what cloud ai will give to us now cloud ai is writing the code for us step by step step by step step by step step by step keep keep going keep going keep going cloud don't give up Oh, error. Wow. Due to unexpected capacity, Cloud is unable to respond to your 
message let's try again so let's just do uh let's do it again let's retry let's see sometimes that error can happen not sure why okay 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 that's it all right and it also told us how we're going to install this code on our website so the first thing we want to do is to start from uh this place it says in the folder create a file name w thank you blah 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 dot php so first thing we want to do is to open our you want to open your um your coding interface whatever you use to code i use um oof, god help me my head is banging okay so so the file explorer we, we add a new folder instead let's add a new folder and then it will be under documents then we'll call it um let's call it um thank you thank you so just call it thank you and open that up and click on add yes we trust this folder that's it so the first thing we want to do here is to create um a new file which is going to be what did Claude ask us to create in the new file? It says thank you. This is thank you.php. That's the first thing we're gonna create. Yeah, under thank you. So let me just paste that. Paste. And then let's open it up and then let's, let's we'll copy. Copy this code like so. And then we can paste it here so that's the first one now the second step is to create a folder for js and to create a folder for um for js and then css css so, oh sorry should actually be a standalone not 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 that not the other way so let's go to the folder spots documents thank you we don't want the css inside the javascript if you know what i mean so close that up and let's go back here we want to click on the thank you again and click on another folder then we call it css so so now let's create um a new file Cloud, what did you ask us to call the JS file? We're going to be calling that pop up script.js copy. Then we'll go to our so new file, then paste the JS. So we go back and then copy the JS code, then return back here and paste. And then we save this now we we'll go to the css uh cloud what did you ask us to call the css i mean we can pretty much call it anything but it's just fine to copy and then we want to type um a new file paste css press enter Lord, press enter and then what is our css code copy just bear with me guys i'm feeling very awesome to say the least so we'll copy that and we'll paste and then we want to save like so uh there we want to save and then this is this looks good so we save everything now we want to convert that folder to zip that's how we're going to be installing on our website so we want to go to uh, document 
document thank you that's that's yeah perfectly well so let's just convert this to zip that's what we're gonna be adding this to our website we want to change that to zip and then click ok so having zipped having zipped our plugin that we created click on add new plugin on your wordpress website like so then add new plugin okay so you want to click on upload plugin plugin browse and then where's our plugin uh, it's under documents so you want to click on thank you and then install so let's see how this goes I hope we don't have any error perfect so the plugin works you can see i didn't add anything just the same way cloud ai gave it to me it's the same way i'm installing the plugin and then we're going to run the plugin and see and see what happens so i'll open a new browser in cognito mode and then i'll go to my website my.tutorialstep.com like so Ooh like so and then just go to hire me my, my website yours might be different but this is my we're just testing out the script so i'm going to click on add to cart then i want to view cart and see what we have there da -da 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 -da. so then let's check out with our details. Okay, so then I have read. Then place order. Put your details, place order, and let's see what happens. If our pop up would work well, can you see that? Thank you for shopping with us. You are the best. Now, this shows you that the opportunity on AI is endless and you can build anything. So just begin to think about what you can build with AI and, uh, you know, to just have, to have a startup. And I mean, I will bring much more um, ideas so you can stick around, follow me uh, for more content like this. Thank you for watching.